resource consumption minus 30% and smelting time minus 30% for copper, bronze, steel, aluminium and tungsten, which is nice. Um, gold and silver ores I can smelt, um, which is great because that really helps with energy links. I've got... This is the worst one I think I've got, which is drones, turrets, shields, spectrum generators and projection generators increase the use count by one. So if I could reset that, that would be one that I would reset. Um, and this one here, the portable MG turret. Firing the MG turret can trigger the bounce effect, increasing HP and damage by 30%. The MG turret's now reusable with five uses max, which is like meh. Um, electric drill. This one's good. A plus 100% yield for gold, silver, and stardust ore when using an electric drill. That's brilliant because that ties into my precious metal refining. And I just got Stardust Mining Platform as well, which is kind of like, meh, which is um, unlock new facility. Stardust Mining Platform increase mining yield by 20%. Um, can mine Stardust when in a pollution zone, which is kind of like, meh. but I'm not going to reset anything until I've got them all to decide which ones I want to reset. So those are the special. So I'd, yeah, I would really like the acid specialization. That would be nice. Right, okay, so we've done that puzzle. What have we got left? So, let's do... What's this one? Okay, so, this is an using explosive just to destroy a rock. That is over here. Okay. So let's go and do that. My, uh, let's just make sure I am carrying explosives to start with. I am. Okay, cool. The Athid spec is the only good spec you've gotten so far. I like the ones that boost my like resource and smelting and stuff. That That's just really useful and just cuts down a lot of time. Um, but for me, the smelting the precious ores and gaining 100% yield on precious ore is, is massive because that's such a huge source of energy link. So, that's probably the best stuff I've got. We're going off road. Yeah, I think you can only you can only reset three, right? Isn't that the max? You've mainly just been selling cards you get from the event. Yeah, same. Same, you get tons of cards. So, yeah, I did the same. But when you think a silver bar on its own sells for 6,000 link and a gold bar sells for 12,000 link. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bosh. There we go, another thousand link. Right, so we've done that one. Uh, so next, what have we got here? Okay, so next is the hospital on this corner. Another hospital puzzle. Okay. Get rolling. I do want to change out my deviant as well from uh, from the samurai dude to the uh, wolf because I think that's a pretty decent deviant for combat. 
But I do like the Samurai. Uh, I do think the Samurai is a really good one. Yeah, this, this takes a bit of time to do, but I do feel like it's worth it. Getting a controller, Stellar Planula, and Link. Just farming that is has got to be worth it for the sake of a an hour of riding your motorbike around the place uh, if we don't get stuck. <laughs> the only gap in the fence and we managed to find it. I say link link is what I've struggled with the most that's been that's been the thing that slowed me down the most is not having enough link but then I do boost all my weapons and gear up to like max calibration so I've like calibration seven on my tier four gun and stuff so I like to do that, plus it gets me my uh, awards. Of course, calibration does use a lot of link. Especially when all your, your gears are calibrated. Powered up. Okay, great one, specimen. Answer the phone. Yep, we know what to do. We've done it before. Because that's how we got all the accessories in the first season. So, yeah. Yeah, notepad, thank you. All right. When it, when it actually... It's the only problem I have with this is that... There we go. It's uh, the challenge of actually... Um, getting the F up so you can move it. Is that everything? There we go. Nice. You haven't calibrated your stuff until you hit T5? Oh, I... I every, not every tier but do I max calibrate, but I do like to... Um, calibrate my gear as much as I can. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. I'm like, yeah, why not? Why wouldn't I calibrate? <laughs> um, I know it uses the link, but with a lot of prep and some silver bars, you can get the link uh, pretty okay. So, there we go. And I think for tier four, the calibration definitely helps against the doggo boss, because the doggo boss is a bit of a pain. It's really, you've got to really time when he jumps at you or when he goes underground and all that sort of stuff. I mean, shooting his arms to, when he becomes immune to easy and when he's in the air, that's not a problem. It's just the timing of when he jumps. And, of course, if you're able to, to not die in a single hit, that definitely helped me anyway. Okay, oh, it's a bit of board one. Very easy enough. Okay. 
Hello. Done. See, it really doesn't take long to farm all this stuff. Right. Um, okay, I might do that one last. Okay, so let's... <clears throat> next, we'll do the one in the south. So that's here, and then on to... Here, okay. And that's a glowing rock, okay. So we need to do the we need to do the um the painter thing first to get the hint for our future um puzzle. And then we can uh there's a puzzle literally just down the road after that, which is good. What's that was that a deviated thing? <laughs> Deviated potato. Yes, I will take it if it's deviated. Do you like to collect my deviated vegetables? Yeah, finding the grocery room deviant was pretty nice as well. I've got unread mail, do I? Really? No, I don't. You lied. The game's lying to me. try and get as much as I can do because uh, after this week I'm back on the road again with work three weeks one after another back to back travel which is going to suck because it means it really interrupts my schedule like one week travels fine but three weeks back to back is like not be able to stream for three weeks sucks um, though I'll continue having the content out every day yeah, it's just a, it's just that time of year. Like, I've just come off like having work, travel, and va family vacation, and it's straight into like a three week back to back travel. It's like conference. Like I, I've got to travel for a, a strategy meeting, and then it's like a conference for a week, and then straight after that another conference for a week, and it's like oh. But um, after that, I should have a solid four weeks, five weeks without having to travel at all, which will be nice, get some steady regular streaming in, and then I'll only have to go away for a week, maybe two, and um, then I'll be back with regular streams from like mid-November all the way up to Christmas, so we'll be, you know, doing our best to stream as regularly as we can. Okay. Of course, you know, if we're able to win the lottery, we'll turn that around. <laughs> Let's just stream. That would be nice, right? That would be nice. Cool. Right, so that one's done. So, ooh. next two are both quite far, but I think we've only got two left to do. Two left to do. So this one is over here. Why won't you? Thank you. So this should be uh, tangled vines, no less. So two more of these, and then we're going after Morphic Crates. And there's normally quite a few of those, but um, again, they're worth going after. Have you been playing any more First Ascendant, Calibre?
I noticed the player base for it's dropped off quite a lot. Uh, on Steam, at least. Um, whereas Once Human is still in the top 10. So it's currently sitting at number 9. For um, average concurrent, which I think is pretty good. Whereas Once Humans, uh, sorry, as First Descendant really dropped down. And I have to say at the moment, like, I, I actually really enjoyed my time in the First Descendant. But I'm actually, I have to say, I think I'm enjoying being in Once Human more than I am being in First Descendant at the moment. You haven't been playing the First Descendant, you've been crazy addicted to Once Human. Yeah, the same. Like, I'm, I'm way more into Once Human than I am First Descendant, without a doubt. That out. No, Space Marine 2 coming on the 9th of September, and of course, I won't be here to play it when it comes out, so I have to wait till I come back. Whoa, what was that? Is there like a tiny little rock hanging out in the road or something? Holy crap! booby trap booby trap no, I don't want to go that way it's okay single player don't have an that's true single player don't have an expiration date plus playing it the day it comes out or the first two days it comes out like so is every man and his dog streaming it as well <laughs> Like, no one's going to watch you when all the other streamers are streaming it as well, when you've got zero audience, so, yeah. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to to seeing if it has significantly uh, improved the controls and the sort of mechanisms that are in the first game. You know, and the lore and everything, I, you know, I love all the lore and all that type of stuff. And, and visually it looks good. It's just a case of, is the controls going to be frustrating like the first one? Through the big pillars. In comes the rain. Well, that's good for my um, rain uh, catcher back at base, no less. Oh, and there is our puzzle. Okay, give me a Molotov. Why can't I see the impact area? There you go. Cool. There we go. We've got one left to go, and then we can do the Morphic crates. All right. So the final accessory is up in the north uh, which is the amended SR mag but before we do that we've got to do the one where we picked up the hint and the hint is here so we'll do the hint which is on the way anyway you know it's random, but apparently the next PvP scenario will let you team up with Rosetta, so you've been building a PvP character. <laughs> Just so you can join Rosetta. 
Okay, that's that's interesting. I have no interest in the PvP side of the game, but uh, sounds cool. looking for them forward to them and adding some new blueprints to the game and maybe some new base stuff because I quite enjoy my base building or some ways to get vehicle skins that don't involve like paying a ton The armor looked cool. Yeah, the, well, I mean, they're very umbrella, aren't they? I mean, they, you could just replace the word Rosetta with umbrella and they'd look pretty similar. There's a free bike skin doing the jelly truck PV. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm using one of the free bike skins at the moment, which is why I've got dice on the side of it. So I don't know how I got it, but I do have... Because I've not actually spent a single penny on this game. Which is crazy, given the amount of time I've got out of it for a free game. Makes me wonder how much money they're actually making from the cosmetics. Though I know... The glass house thing did sell incredibly well. Like, people went wild for that. I saw so many houses with that just on my server. So, they probably did reasonably well out of that. But I don't know how they're doing for the other things. You bought the battle pass and a purple skin. The battle pass definitely look interesting. It's quite a nice skin at the end, I guess. The problem is, I actually prefer the skin on that weapon. I actually prefer the original skin. <laughs> There's our hint. Thank you. Cool. How are we doing for Link? We're up to 42,000 Link, which is fantastic. And then the final puzzle is right up here, and that is a billboard. You did it for the spider outfit. The spider outfit? What's the spider outfit? Did I miss a spider outfit? I like the camo color, because I like the military theming of it. Where's the spider outfit? Clear Sky Sneakers, Wrath of Nature, Hunter Spider Set, okay, interesting. Jesus, Spider Assassin. Mm. Uh, to be honest for me that's like an urban sci-fi fusion tech thing yeah i mean for me i what i'd really like is because i like my military gear i re i'm waiting if they come out with some decent military style skins like camo like cool helmet like even if it's slightly futuristic but if it's like a military style then that's what i want to go in for so if they do that like having the camo in the battle pass is interesting but i, don't know, I wouldn't want to buy a whole battle pass just to get one weapon camo um, but yeah, like, you know, even if it's just like all black, like spec ops style or something like that, that would be cool. I'm yeah, I was surprised. I actually thought they would put a military, some sort of military skin stuff in, but they didn't. So yeah, I was surprised at that.
most of the cash shop outfits are way too anime for this kind of game. I agree. There's 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 nothing in the shop that really interests me. I have to say. I mean, what is there? If you when you look at the shop cosmetics sets, like that's probably the nicest one in my opinion, the Shadow Panther. But I mean, it's basically Black Panther, but it's the nicest looking in my opinion of all of them. Like like that. I mean, what is that? You know, full night gear? No, not for this kind of game. Uh, I mean, the the white, that's not bad, but it's very McCree, right, out of Overwatch. Not quite sure what's going on there with the paintbrushes. So, yeah, there's there's nothing in there that that really says, oh, yeah, I really want that as a, as a skin pack. So, um, yeah. Like I said, I, I really hope they do some sort of military. I, I think if they put some military skin stuff in, people will snap them up. Like you could do some like cool like beret style, like you know UK paratrooper style, or you know green beret, red beret. You could have a whole bunch of different things like that in there. You got all the different camos you could use. You could even go like sort of urban camo or some of that like midnight blue camo, which could still be interesting. There's our broken billboard. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one's weird. Like that looks like it's perfectly matched. Like I don't can't see. Huh. Oh hang on, it's over there. What the Wow. That's not even I had it matched way better than that. You're killing me, man. Right, cool. We've done that now. Morphic crates. Morphic crates. So... Whoa! There are a lot of Morphic crates in this area. Okay. Right. Wowzers. There there are so many morphic crates in this area. That's crazy. I mean we're looking at at least twenty plus. So the first morphic crate apparently is in here. And then there's another morphic crate just next door in this area. And then another one just up here. Wowzers. We got a lot to do. In fact, it's going to be quicker just to run over there. In fact, there's so many Morphic crates. I need to see what the actual rewards for a Morphic crate are before I spend time and do them all. There he is. Come on, man. Did I leave myself with no rounds? Of Two forty energy link, eight planula, and seventy star dust source. That's good, man. That's good. I like that's more than you. You know, you didn't want to throw that away. I don't really want to come back to this area, so I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and. Uh, and do it. Because 240 link, you know, every four is a thousand link. And star bus, uh, star, um, source stuff, star source stuff is bloody useful as well. Because you need that for calibration. And we're coming, you know, we're coming into tier five. So at tier 5, that's going to be 10 calibrations. So we're definitely going to need that. We're definitely going to need all of this. 
So. Okay, the morphic dude should be in here somewhere. 